The Trump administration is looking to make cuts to NIH funding. The goal is to reduce federal spending and save more than $4 billion a year. Right now, that executive order is tied up in the courts, but UC San Diego gets millions of dollars from NIH funding. As ABC 10 News reporter Danny Miskell reports, the cuts could directly affect what research we're working on. We have just a huge uh, research portfolio at UC San Diego. Um, everything from uh, Alzheimer's to virology, which is where I work, so bird flu, COVID, HIV. You just heard some examples of what UC San Diego uses NIH funding for. I'm sitting down with Dr. Davy Smith, a professor of medicine at UC San Diego, who also oversees the university's grant writing process. He's aware that NIH grants could start getting capped at 15%. Here's what that translates to in dollars. Translates to about $200 million a year. Dr. Smith says they're used to receiving around 600 million federal dollars a year from the NIH alone to fund their world-class research efforts. Now, this looming massive cut could impact. Keep the lights on, to keep the water running. And also for my work, which I work in viruses, is to keep everybody safe. So it makes a laboratory environment so that we can do those research in a safe way. The the threat of NIH cuts goes beyond just operational costs. Dr. Smith says he's also worried about losing his researchers. People are very concerned whether or not they should stay within an academic institution doing basic research or should they try to jump ship to an industry who might be doing more uh, clinical or translational type research. He means companies like Pfizer, but that's why Dr. Smith wants to keep jobs in academia. He says their research is the foundation of what companies in the privatized sector bases their research on. Did you see this coming? I didn't see it coming. I do empathize with our leaders having to make uh, cuts and they got to figure out whether or not is the cure for Alzheimer's or the next bird flu going to be worth that cost. In Mission Hills, Danny Miskell, ABC 10 News.